Welcome back to Neverland. Um, I'm gonna say right away, I have not scripted this video, which I do usually do. Um, but the new Moana trailer literally just dropped and I wanted to review it as soon as possible. But um, as you can see, the light's kind of dimmed because um, it's, it's getting dark here because while it is early morning in the US, it's kind of starting to get late over here in Europe. So, um, I don't, don't really have time to like write out jokes and everything, but I do want to comment on what I just saw because it is really cool in my opinion, so let's get going. Weirdly enough, uh, maybe it's just like because I know who's making the movie, but I find it very, very obvious that um, Ron Clement and John Musker are behind that movie because just from the very first second on, the trailer seems so authentic. It just it's not trying to get across a certain image of certain characters um, but it's just really authentic portrayal of likeable people and an interesting story and humour, humour. I think just their movies are just so humorous and um, I think that just worked from the very first second on here. Another thing that kind of reminds me of their style is of course the fact that they were already around back during the Disney Renaissance so um, you see their willingness to play with different animation styles and um, just, you know, the very first picture we see is not um, a new kind of animation but 2D animation and that is so interesting and such an interesting choice. I'm wondering if they're trying to play into the nostalgia that people are all about right now. Um, although that never really was the case for animation style, was it? So I think that's so interesting and it reminds me a lot of The Princess of the Frog and their short section of Tiana's song which was animated in a very different style as well and that was of course also by the same directors so that's super interesting in my opinion. As for animation in general, um, I think it looked really nice. The texture of people's skins and just the water and the nature, everything that we saw, just um, it felt really real in a weird way. I don't, because it just, it seemed more animated in the others, whereas this time of obviously you see it's animation, but it weirdly feels very real and I like that. What I also find very, very striking is the fact that they're not really concentrating more on Moana in the trailer, um, which kind of goes hand in hand with how Disney has been marketing movies that um, evolve around girls lately, um, with the exception that this movie, um, they actually dared and called the movie Moana after the main character, which they didn't do with Brave, Tangled or Frozen because they were scared boys weren't gonna watch it if there's a girl in the title, which is just ridiculous. Um, now they're doing it, but they decided to make the trailer as ungirly as possible, with a, you know, girly being a stupid society construct, but, um, so that is very striking, I think, but it is cool, I like that they're kind of making it more of a family movie rather than being typically male or typically female or, like, feminine or masculine. What immediately just had me was the music, and I was like, oh! That's a cool song. That's an interesting voice. I feel like I've heard it and I was like, idiot, that's Lynn Manuel Miranda, who I know, like I knew he's kind of he was kind of in charge of the music, but I didn't realize he like recorded songs and then I heard his voice and I was like, oh my god, that's him! Because I'm a big Hamilton fan. So for me that's really cool. I also thought the trailer was absolutely hilarious. The rooster at the end of the trailer was so funny. I mean, no, 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 you don't realize that. Was so funny it was like Kevin and Up. And Kevin and Up is the most hilarious thing in any movie ever. And this, I see a connection here. And it's birds again. I love birds. I love chickens. And I love roosters. So this is gonna be my favorite character right there. Goodbye, son. See, it's, it's getting dark. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm gone now. So really the only thing I'm a bit um, sad about is that we just haven't really got to see a lot of, of Moana yet. Um, I do hope that changes, maybe they're just trying to save her. 
because you know in order not to show everything that they've got already but um otherwise i'm i'm very positively surprised but I remember liking the first trailers for Frozen. No, that's not true. I'm sorry, that's not true. The first teaser trailer for Frozen, I absolutely hated. Right, so maybe that's a good sign. Maybe that's a good sign. Okay, thank you for going on this very spontaneous adventure with me. Um, I think we're all very excited to see what Moana is going to be like in November then. Um, please let me know in the comments if you've already seen the trailer, what you thought of it, what your first impressions were. I'm very interested to hear what everyone else is thinking. Um, as always, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more of me and children's entertainment. You can follow me on Twitter or on Tumblr to discuss children's media with me. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!